Have you ever looked in the mirror and thought you were just seeing tired eyes, a little puffiness, or maybe your skin looking a bit dull? What if I told you those little changes on your face could actually be the first silent cry for help from your kidneys? I'm Dr. Johnny, and I need you to understand something urgent. Kidney disease is called a silent killer for a reason. More than 35 million Americans have it right now, and most of them don't even know it until it's far too late. That means the warning signs might already be staring back at you every single morning, written across your face while you brush your teeth or comb your hair. But here's the good news. Your body's not completely silent. Your face can reveal five powerful clues that your kidneys are in danger. And if you know how to recognize them, you can catch kidney disease early, long before it steals your energy, your independence, or your life. In the next few minutes, I'm going to guide you through these hidden signals, explain the science in a way that makes sense, and share the story of a patient who looked perfectly healthy on the outside until his reflection told a very different story. So as you keep watching, don't think of this as just another health video. Think of it as a mirror held up to your future. Because once you see what I'm about to show you, you'll never look at your face the same way again, and that shift in awareness might just save your kidneys. Now let's begin with the first real clue, the eyes, because sometimes the truth of kidney disease is written right above your cheekbones. You wake up, look in the mirror, and your eyes are swollen again. Most people would blame allergies, poor sleep, or just aging. But what if that puffiness wasn't about last night at all, but about something deep inside your kidneys? Let me tell you about Bob, a young man in his 20s who exercised five days a week, ate clean, and kept a healthy weight. On the outside, he looked like the perfect picture of health. But every morning, his eyes were puffy, even on days when he slept well, and had no allergy symptoms. He thought it was nothing until the swelling spread to his entire face, and he suddenly gained almost 40 pounds of water weight. Here's the science your kidneys are natural filters. They're supposed to keep protein inside your blood vessels, almost like a sponge that holds fluid in the right place. But when the filters are damaged, that protein leaks out into your urine. Without protein acting like the sponge fluid seeps into your tissues, starting with the delicate skin around your eyes. That's why early kidney disease can literally look like pillow soft swelling around your eyes. Studies show that protein leakage, or proteinuria, is often one of the very first visible warning signs of chronic kidney disease, especially in people with diabetes lupus, or even after a simple strep infection. So here's my question for you. Have you ever brushed off swollen eyes as just allergies or just tiredness? If so, let me know in the comments because you're not alone. Millions of people do the same and many miss the chance to catch kidney disease early. But don't click away yet because swollen eyes are only the beginning. The face doesn't just puff, it also changes color in ways that reveal a far deeper danger. And that's where things get even more serious. If your face suddenly looks pale, washed out, or even carries a strange yellow-brown tint, don't just chalk it up to stress or lack of sleep. Your skin can reveal something much deeper anemia caused by hidden kidney disease. Remember how we talked about Bob's puffy eyes? For him, the swelling was a clue. But for millions of others, the first sign isn't swelling at all. It's a face that loses its healthy glow. Let me give you a simple self-check. Go to a mirror, gently pull down your lower eyelid, and look at the inner lining. Normally, it should be a bright, vibrant pink full of blood vessels carrying oxygen. But if it looks pale, almost white, that could mean your kidneys are failing to produce a hormone called erythropoietin. Why does that matter? Because this hormone tells your bone marrow to make red blood cells. Without enough of it, your blood can't carry oxygen, leaving you anemic. And here's the shocking part. Studies show that over 70% of people with advanced chronic kidney disease also develop anemia. That means low energy, constant fatigue, and yes, a face that loses its natural color. I once had a patient who complained of feeling drained all the time. Her family thought she was just overworked, but her pale complexion told me something was off. Tests later confirmed kidney disease was the hidden culprit. So if your skin tone has shifted, if you feel tired, climbing just a single flight of stairs, or if your eyelids look pale when you check them, don't ignore it. These are not just cosmetic changes. They are red flags. Your kidneys are struggling. And here's where you come in, share in the comments if you've ever noticed a sudden change in your face or energy levels. You might inspire someone else watching this video to pay attention to their own body. But only knowing about facial color isn't enough because the danger doesn't stop at pallor. 
Sometimes the entire face swells into a round moon face, a sign that the kidneys are drowning in fluid and salt. And that's where the story takes a much more alarming turn. Imagine looking in the mirror one morning and realizing your entire face looks swollen and round almost unrecognizable. This isn't just about puffy eyes anymore. It's what doctors call moon face, and it can be one of the most alarming signs that your kidneys are in serious trouble. Bob the young man I told you about earlier didn't stop at eye puffiness. Over time, his whole face puffed up, and even his body started to retain so much fluid that he gained 40 pounds almost overnight. He wasn't gaining fat, he was drowning in his own water weight. Here's the science behind it. Your kidneys control the balance of salt and water in your body. When they begin to fail, they stop filtering properly, and that excess fluid gets trapped in your tissues. In early stages, it might just be your ankles or your eyelids, but as the disease progresses, the swelling spreads everywhere, including your face. This is especially true in conditions like nephrotic syndrome, where the kidneys leak not just a little protein, but massive amounts, sometimes more than 3 grams per day. And remember, protein is like the sponge that keeps fluid where it belongs. Without it, the fluid seeps out and your face becomes round, tight, and bloated. Now, you might wonder how common is this study show that in patients with advanced chronic kidney disease, up to 60% will develop some form of generalized edema swelling that doesn't just affect one area, but the entire body. And it's not just cosmetic. This fluid overload puts extra strain on your heart, your lungs, and every system in your body. One of my patients told me she couldn't even button her blouse or slip on her shoes because of the swelling. That's how devastating it can become. So here's my question to you. Have you ever noticed your face looking rounder, puffier, or tighter than usual? Even though your diet and lifestyle haven't changed, don't dismiss it as just getting older or gaining a little weight. It could be your kidneys sounding the alarm. If you've experienced this, let me know in the comments because your story might help someone else watching right now recognize the danger sooner. But here's the twist. Puffiness and swelling aren't the only surface-level signs. Sometimes the skin itself starts to itch, burn, or break out in rashes, all because of one dangerous chemical your kidneys can no longer clear. And that's the part almost nobody talks about. Now let's talk about a warning sign that most people brush off as something small, a rash in your face, or an itch that just won't go away. Maybe you've scratched until the skin turned red, or you've noticed little dark patches appearing out of nowhere. It feels like a surface problem, right? But in reality, it can be your kidneys screaming that phosphorus is building up in your blood. Here's why it happens. Every day, the food you eat, milk, cheese, nuts, packaged snacks, even processed meats brings phosphorus into your body. When your kidneys are healthy, they filter out the excess. But when they're damaged, that phosphorus builds up. And high phosphorus isn't just a number on a lab test. It irritates the skin nerves so badly that you feel an intense itch. Some of my patients describe it as fire under the skin scratching until they bleed. And yes, it often shows up first on the face because your facial skin is thin and sensitive. The science is clear research shows that people with advanced kidney disease who develop uncontrolled phosphorus levels are far more likely to suffer chronic itching, also called uremic pruritus. And this itch isn't just annoying, it destroys sleep, worsens mood, and leads to visible rashes that can't be covered with makeup or ignored. One of my patients used to wake up in the middle of the night, her face raw from scratching. It wasn't until we checked her phosphorus and adjusted her diet that she finally found relief. So what can you do? The first step is awareness. If you're living with kidney issues, many doctors recommend limiting phosphorus to less than 800 milligrams per day. That means cutting back on sodas, processed foods, and packaged snacks, and focusing on fresh, natural meals. Sometimes your doctor may also prescribe phosphate binders, special medications that trap phosphorus in your gut before it enters your blood. And here's where I want to engage you directly. Have you ever experienced unexplained itching on your face or body that just wouldn't go away? Drop your answer in the comments because you never know your experience might help another person realize they're not alone. But remember, an itchy face isn't the final or most dangerous warning. There's one last sign, far rarer, far scarier, and when it shows up, it means kidney failure has reached an emergency level. And if you've never heard of uremic frost, what I'm about to share might shock you. Picture this, you wake up one morning, glance in the mirror, and notice your skin looks unusually dry, almost brittle, 
as if no lotion in the world could fix it. At first, you might think it's just the weather or dehydration, but in rare, severe cases, that dryness can turn into something far more shocking. Tiny white crystals forming on the skin of your face, like frost on a window pane. This isn't a skincare problem. This is a medical emergency known as uremic frost, and it's one of the most dramatic ways your body can show that your kidneys are in crisis. Here's what's really happening. When your kidneys fail to filter toxins, one of the chemicals that builds up in your blood is urea. Normally, urea exits the body through urine. But in advanced kidney failure, the concentration becomes so high that it starts to leak out through your sweat glands. Once it dries, it leaves behind a white powdery residue on your skin. Doctors call it uremic frost because it literally looks like snow dusting your face. And if you see it, you don't wait for an appointment. You head straight to the emergency room. Science backs this up. Uremic frost is most commonly documented in patients with very advanced chronic kidney disease, usually stage 5 when dialysis or a transplant is urgently needed. It's rare in developed countries because most people are treated earlier, but when it appears, it's the body's final alarm bell. Now, not every case of dryness means kidney failure, of course. Simple dehydration, eczema, or even too much time in the sun can dry your skin. But if you're experiencing unusual dryness alongside other symptoms we've already talked about, like swelling puffiness, pale eyelids, or constant itching, then your face may be telling you a story you cannot afford to ignore. So here's where I turn it over to you. Have you ever had moments where your skin just wouldn't respond to any cream or moisturizer, and you wondered if something deeper was going on? Share that below, because your comment might be the wake-up call for someone else scrolling through this video right now. And here's the real reason to stay with me until the very end. We've just walked through five powerful facial signs of kidney disease. But the truth is, knowing the signs is only the first step. What matters even more is what you choose to do with this knowledge and how you act before it's too late. Before we finish, I want you to pause and take in what we've covered today. We've walked through five very real, very visible warning signs that your kidneys may be in trouble and all of them can show up on your face. Puffy eyes, pale skin, a round, swollen face, relentless itching, or even the rare and dangerous uremic frost. These are not cosmetic details. They're your body's alarms. But here's the good news, and I need you to hear this clearly. Knowledge is power. The fact that you now understand these signs puts you ahead of millions of people who ignore them every single day. Too many people only learn about kidney disease when it's already advanced when their doctor says the word dialysis or transplant. You don't have to wait for that day. You can act early, you can be proactive, and just by watching this video until the end, you've already taken a step in the right direction. So what do you do next? First, pay attention to your own reflection. Tomorrow morning, when you look in the mirror, don't just glance and move on. Really look. Are your eyes swollen? Do your eyelids look pale? Is your skin losing its color? These little checks take seconds, but they could give you years back on your life. And if you see something concerning, don't stay silent. Reach out to your doctor, ask for tests, and get clarity. It's always better to know than to wonder. Second, I want you to hold on to this information and keep it close. Save this video right now so you can come back to it whenever you need a reminder. You might even want to share it with a friend or a family member. Because sometimes what you notice in yourself, someone else might be ignoring in their own life. And trust me, one small share could change someone's future. Third, and this is important, don't let today be the last time we talk. Subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because I'll keep bringing you the latest medical insights, simple explanations, and actionable steps you can use to protect your kidneys and your overall health. New information comes out all the time, and I want you to stay ahead of it, not behind. Think of subscribing not just as clicking a button, but as joining a community that truly cares about your health. Now, let me encourage you. If you've ever felt worried or overwhelmed about your health, know this, you are not alone. I see patients every single day who feel the same way. But I also see their strength, their courage, and their victories when they take small, consistent steps. And you can have that too. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to change everything overnight. But you do need to pay attention, listen to your body, and act before it's too late. Kidney disease is called a silent killer, but it doesn't have to stay silent in your life. These five signs we talked about are your warning system, your chance to fight back early. And with the right awareness, the right habits, and the right support, you can protect your kidneys, 
your energy, and your independence. So as we wrap up, let me leave you with this hopeful truth. Your face tells a story, but you get to write the ending. Don't let kidney disease write it for you. Choose awareness, choose action, choose health. Save this video, subscribe for more life-saving knowledge, and share it with someone you love. Because together we can turn silent danger into loud prevention. And I promise you this, your healthiest, happiest life is still ahead of you. Stay strong, stay hopeful, and I'll see you in the next video.